Unlike other type of properties, the hotel is a very flexible type of asset. So you have so many rooms, let's say just take it as a hotel that is just one building. So they're gonna open some rates at the low rates to build a certain base. And then they're gonna increase their rates. So let's say they're gonna start at 149, they fill up certain number of rooms, then the rate immediately goes up to let's say 189, fill up some more rooms, as now the occupancy goes over 60%, let's say at 60% occupancy with an average daily rate of let's say 162, this hotel breaks even. You understand? Whatever else they're gonna sell is a flow through. He used the word flow through to explain to you what it is in case you don't know. You have income, you have the staff expenses, the labor, the whole operation, the tax insurance, all this, then you flow through a certain number. You're with me on this? Now, there is a point where if you sell a room for another $100, your incremental cost will be just 20 bucks, which is the housekeeper is gonna clean it, a little bit more utility and whatever, and the rest, I mean 140 or so, we're gonna, is gonna flow through to the bottom line. So what they do then, is they then they rack up the rates to now 249. And then, oh, they sold some more, now they're at 90% occupancy, guess what they do? Now it's 309. You know, I, I remember, um, I have also a big background, as I mentioned to you, in hotels. I remember one of the projects I had to take was in Denver, Colorado. And here we were sitting with a 600-room hotel by the airport, and the occupancy was like 30%. It's snowing outside, nobody's there. Then we get a call, they, all the hotels, and uh, well, the airline called and said, well, we're trying to get <coughs> the closest hotel to the airport because we can't take off with this flight, and there's 300 customers coming in. You're with me on this? So uh, we don't have a deal with United. They said, well, w we need to work it out. What's the rate? United will pay for it. United is a publicly traded company. <laughs> what are you going to do? We're going to jack up the rate as high as possible. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Then I realized we trained the front desk people, and I said, you are not employees working per hour. I'm going to give you an incentive. Remember, the study of economics is a study of incentive. If we get rates over 149, I'm using that as an example. I can't remember the rates at the time, so many years ago. I'll give you a percentage. I like get 10% over the next you know, rate that's over 149. The staff was so creative, it was unbelievable. So if we would have like somebody park the car, a guy comes in, hi, we're trying to spend the night here, how much are the rates? And the desk clerk would say something like 159, and would look the guy straight in the eye. If he goes, okay, great, uh, excuse me, how many people in your party? Oh, my wife is in the car. Oh, that will be 179 then. Okay, I'm just going to go tell her, excuse me, do you need breakfast in the morning? Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to add $20 for a breakfast for both of you. If you're on your own, it's going to cost you more. Well, let's go ahead and increase it, put it right uh, package with the room. Why? Because we can charge tax on it and do this. You understand? But if, what is, you know, what if the reverse happens? He comes in, how much are the rates? One fifty-nine. Ah, he turns around. Excuse me, sir, are you triple A? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, it's one forty-nine. Good, great. Now, do you want breakfast? 169. Boom, got you again. <laughs> ah, it got, it got you coming and going. Okay, another one. Sir, 159. Oh, gosh, that's too high. He turns around, he starts walking. Sir, are you triple A? No. Quadruple A? Quintuple A? You know what I mean? We're gonna work it out. Come around the desk. Excuse me, we're gonna include, actually, at the 159, we're gonna include the breakfast. Yeah, but I have my wife. She can eat for free if she's skinny. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just playing with you. But, but you got the point? And then we just make it happen, and then get the people. That flexibility, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> that flexibility is powerful for a hotel operation that does not exist with other types of properties. Because like, if the market changes all of a sudden in an apartment building, you still have tenants for six more months or eight more months. You can't just call a tenant and say, I know you're the renter in apartment 114, you know what, there is such demand on apartment buildings now, I gotta jack up your rate a couple hundred bucks. Person is gonna say, I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that flexibility is always interesting.